you know, Thanksgiving just isn't a big deal, I guess, at Disney Parks because we've jumped right into the holiday season early in November. Welcome into Inside 300, presented by InsideTheMagic.com. I'm your host, Brian Perry. The holidays have kicked off at Disney Parks, and it's time to get you caught up on everything you need to know in the next 300 seconds. For the first time in a long time, we are going to kick off this episode with something that's not Disney related. No, because check out these unbelievable photos from our good friend Caleb Edwards over in Beijing. The pictures showcase the wizarding world of Harry Potter at Universal's newest theme park. This time actually covered in real snow. Yes, that's not fake. The Orlando and Los Angeles editions of the themed area of course feature the fake snow on top of the Hogsmeade rooftops, but who needs fake snow when you've got real frozen precipitation out in China? These breathtaking looks are a first for the theme park that opened less than two months ago. The new Universal Beijing Resort is home to seven distinct lands, including the snow-covered Wizarding World of Harry Potter, the Transformers area featuring the Decepticon roller coaster, and a Jurassic World park that houses the Jurassic World Dark Ride are also included. The first snowfall on the park resulted in all outdoor attractions being shut down for the time being, but who cares because we got these pictures and this, this is pretty cool. Ho ho ho, it's November 9th, so with that I bid you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays as the Christmas season is in full swing at the Magic Kingdom in Orlando. Last night the park brought back its first full parade since the resort's closure in March of 2020. Just to be clear, this is not a holiday cavalcade. No, this is actually a lengthy parade, which is great. Santa and his reindeer made their appearance as they always do at the end of Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade. Unfortunately, the skiers were missing. So shout out to the old ski unit, which has been a part of the parade for over a decade. Also debuting was Mickey's Very Merry Memories stage show as part of the holiday event, which is sprinkled out throughout the next two months. Awesome moment for Disney Park historians and older fans who were able to experience the gone but not forgotten 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea attraction at Magic Kingdom back in the day. One of the submarines from the old ride was on display as a photo op for guests running the Wine and Dine Half Marathon over the weekend. At BioReconstruct on Twitter shared this awesome image of the ride vehicle, which used to submerge into the waters of Fantasyland for 23 years before getting the boot. The attraction was one of Walt Disney World's signature rides for the first few decades the resort was in operation. To see where it may lie on our list of the top 50 attractions in Walt Disney World history, tune into episode 5 of 50 for 50 which airs this Saturday. We've already counted down rides 50 through 31. If you haven't caught it yet, we break down the history of each ride on our list as we make our way towards the top 10. Inside the Magic's Mark was one of the first guests to meet the Eternals at California Adventure at the beginning of the weekend. Standing in the Doctor Strange area of Avengers Campus, heroes Fast, Cersei, and Kingo were all there to greet guests just one day after they premiered in the Eternals film that joined the MCU on Thursday. The debut of the Disneyland characters made for a funny moment on social media as one of the film's stars actually reacted to the Disneyland characters. Kumel Nanjiani, who plays Kingo, tweeted this out in response to the new addition. Uh, okay, this feels super weird. Pretty sure that my theme park double Shouldn't be more handsome than me. Hashtag Eternals is in theaters right now. Please go see it before they replace me with this guy. Another great move from Disneyland and their entertainment department. Fans have been clamoring for the next trailer of Spider-Man No Way Home as we are now less than 40 days from the film's release date in mid-December. While we didn't get a new trailer over the weekend, we did get a brand new poster yesterday. The poster features our friendly neighborhood Tom Holland dealing with quite a few issues. One, of course, is the mechanical arms of Doc Ock, but if you look in the far distance, by God, it's William Defoe's Green Goblin from the original Sam Raimi Spider-Man film. Last but not least, the lightning bolt symbolized the return of Jamie Foxx's Electro from the Andrew Garfield series. With the movie's release quickly approaching, there's still no confirmation on the return of previous Spider-Men, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, which is a feat within itself. 
Quite frankly, I hope a new trailer doesn't reveal them because we've all suffered to this point in the unknown. So what's another month? Spider-Man No Way Home releases on December 17th. Thanks for tuning in to Inside 300. If you like what you saw, we're here again and again and again. Just click that bell icon this way you're notified whenever we come out with brand new content. I've been your host, Brian Perry, and as always, bye bye <laughs>